So we got to talk about uh, James Harden. After skipping Sixers media day to hang out in Houston, Harden headed back to H down and skipped Sixers practice today. He was a no-show. Harden has not been present with the team since Sunday. <laughs> in response to Harden missing practice, Embiid had this to say, maybe he has something to do, I'm not sure. I don't know if anything was going on because he's been here, he wasn't here today, so obviously I think he probably has something important to do or something came up. I can't, if I'm James Harden, I can't expect them people to give me another five years for $250 million, dog. I don't give a fuck what he promised me sitting at the dinner mm -hmm. table. If I'm being honest, he tell me that shit, I'm leaving that morning meeting thinking he a fucking liar. For sure, <laughs> for facts. If I'm being honest about the, putting everything on the table and being having with myself, fuck having a conversation with anybody else. Mm -hmm. If I'm being honest with myself in this situation, everything that I've put on the table, the last three stops, everything that I've put on the table, why would somebody sign me up for another five for the maximum amount of money that they could possibly give me? Because even... We're naive, to my point. No, we're, no. we're naive. We're, we're naive, but we're still, if we just go off of the numbers, 22 and 11, 22 and 10, double-double, led the league in assists. I'm still worth that money. I don't care what the numbers say. James Harden is not worth that money. Kenyon Martin is absolutely right. There's plenty of reasons to choose from. First of all, he's 34 years old. He's requested a trade the last three seasons, and the last time we saw him in the playoffs, he completely melted down. Giving James Harden $250 million for the next five years is a death sentence for your team. You can look at numbers all you want to. James Harden has always had great numbers, but if you want to win, James Harden is not the answer, and paying him that kind of money is guaranteeing that you won't win a championship. Even if you did give him that kind of money, there's no way he would make it the full five years without requesting a trade. So you'd have to trade James Harden in his mid-30s making $50 million a year when he can't stay loyal to any team he's on. If I were the 76ers, I would stop holding on to James Harden and trade him for anything I can get. He's causing nothing but problems and you're never going to fix this relationship. This whole idea of trying to win right now on his last year is a waste of time. He's not going to be invested and even when he is, he's not good enough to help you win a championship. But that's just what I think. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of James Harden skipping practice for the 76ers. And don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more NBA content just like this. And I will see you in the next upload.